On your Capital Evening Show Wednesday night. Now, the biggest news story today is absolutely everywhere, all of the papers. Liam and Cheryl have had a baby. We knew that already. But the psychics within the papers are predicting the baby is going to be more successful than Liam and Cheryl, which is obviously a ridiculous thing to say because these are two of the biggest stars on the planet. So I want to find out from someone we trust. Capital's very own Carrie the Psychic Oracle. I'm not going to tell her I'm ringing. She's a psychic. She'll know already. Here we go. Hello. Hi, Carrie. You know who it is. You know why I'm calling. How are you? I'm very well. Well, thank you. So very quickly, do you think the baby will be more successful than the parents? I see an interesting choice for this baby. One, be very successful in business and one, following a celebrity route. Ultimately, I think he's going to be tasting the celebrity route but going for the business success. Oh, he sounds like a thinker already. Are you getting that vibe? Absolutely. Very sensible. Feet firmly planted on the ground. So do you think that he's going to maybe befriend some, some other celebrity babies or is he going to have his own kind of circle? He's undoubtedly going to have a few celebrities, especially in kindergarten stage, a lot of play dates, but there's definitely, I feel, a social mix for this child. And I think it's very much coming from Cheryl and Liam as well. So I think that there's going to be children um, from a more normal, ordinary background right through to celebrities, and that they're very keen that he's got a grounded approach. Okay, so you've said that the baby might go into a business side or the celebrity kind of route. Can you th kind of pinpoint a job that maybe the uh, baby will go into? I'm seeing him in a suit, but quite a sharp suit. I feel that it, it doesn't tell me exactly what the job title is, but very good at handling money. I do need an so, accountant, so shall I get in early? <laughs> I think so. I think so. Okay, so uh, we obviously know it will be happy ever after for Liam and Cheryl, but can you can you see that? The thing with Liam and Cheryl is I think that at the end of the day, she's actually really got strong family values. She's quite an old-fashioned girl at heart, so they will stick together. Good news. Right, Carrie, I've got a big question for you now. Um, as you can see into the future, I kind of need this for my own kind of self-worth. Um, okay. So, I mean, I'm 22 years ahead of the baby now, but do you think I'll be more successful? Successful than Liam and Cheryl's baby? Well, this is a sensitive subject, really, JJ, because I think that you kind of need to quantify success. I wouldn't go into competition with him in business because you might be disappointed, oh. but your your successes lie in different areas. Your successes lie in um, looking at emotions and feelings of the past and putting them out there for people to resonate with. But when it comes to business and finance, I'd let him take the lead. <laughs> Thank you very much for calling us today, Carrie. I mean, you knew we were going to call you and everything like that well ahead yeah. of time before I knew, to be honest. Um, you have kind of put me on a little bit at the back foot to do with the, um, you know, my career's not going to be as great. But if you can give me the lottery numbers when we go off air, then I'll, we'll call it evening, <laughs> shall we?